Hey guys, welcome back to this another tutorial. So today I'll be unboxing the digital multimeter. This one is uh, YX9801. So today I'll be showing you uh, some features and uh, particulars which are within this box of this type of multimeter. So this one is a digital multimeter. I'll be showing you what is inside and uh, some few brief things. And some and somehow how you can use it so I'll be showing you everything in this video so first of all I'll go ahead to open it so that we can check what is inside it so this is the multimeter itself just put it aside here then uh, within the box we have the battery so this one is the battery as we can see it has this uh, heavy duty battery if we can try to see it clearly here so I'll also put it aside I'll also put this box aside so these ones are the props so these ones are our props so we shall go ahead to check one by one so I'll first insert the battery so this is the battery, I'll also open it, I'll get it off from the cover, so this is our multimeter, as you can see it very well here, so this is how it looks like. So I'll go ahead to open so that I can insert the battery so we can see. So it also has a, a holder whereby you can just twist it like put it on the table and you can use it directly. We, uh, it has its holder. So I'll open this one is the back. So here you open with a screwdriver. You open with a screwdriver so that you can open it then you can go ahead to insert the battery so we shall try to look for the negative terminal and the positive terminal so this one is the positive terminal so it has to go here it has to go here this side it has to face this side so we shall push it in Just push it in so that so that we can start. Then I'll go ahead to, uh, to close here. Then after closing here, we can also use a nut to tighten here so that it doesn't get off. So I'll put this one aside for the meantime. So this is our digital multimeter with us here so we can go ahead to tune it by switching it on so when you switch it on this is how it displays so uh, for you guys who use like mobile phones uh, for specifically if you want to use mobile phones with this meter so this is what we shall do so it has very many functions as you can see them here uh, there is this side this side here this is for measuring the current the type of voltage commonly found in all slots of batteries and uh, other direct current like that so we also have this one here as you can see this one has perimeters for measuring alternating current commonly used in uh, other equipments like uh, bulbs and other stuff like that then we have uh, we have this this side here this is the ohms uh, this one is for measuring power resistance and resistors and other components like ICs and diodes 
then uh, for us who want to use like uh, continuity this is where we put our meter so if you want to measure continuity this is where you use so we shall connect this one you can put it here in continuity so when you put it here when the, there it will be in continuity so you can be able to measure continuity between two points so I'll be showing uh, uh, you other stuff so if you want to use these probes like to measure any anything so this is where we insert them uh, this negative one the, the one for black so this ones there is uh, the black and and red one so as you can see them these two so this black one it goes in the comb it goes here this one is the comb so you have to fix this one in the comb so what you'll do you have to push this one until it gets inside like this you have to put you use some power a bit so you force it when it goes there then for this red uh, we shall put it here so this one we shall put it here we shall also force it there so now it's already there so this is our multimeter so we can go ahead to check if it is working so if you want to see it, if it is working it has to give us a beep sound so this one we do it by by putting these ones together so when we join these ones together and we get this beeping sound that shows us that it is working pretty fine so these two they are the ones which we normally use in mobile phones and other and other things so when connecting to this black probe we have to make sure that these two are fixed firm in these two holes so this one the the black one stands for the negative and this one is for positive so for example uh, if you want to check anything like for example you want to check the battery level and other stuff so we shall use this one for example we can take this one too so this one you just move step by step you can move it step by step so when it is here it is off so we can turn it to to 20 voltage just in case we want to check any battery for example i'll try to check this battery here i'll get one battery here for a small mobile phone so this one is a small battery uh, for a nokia button the phone you can see it is uh 3.7 volts so if you want to check this one we have to put it here in a 20 so I'll use this probe the black one I'll put on negative then the red one I'll put on positive so I'll be showing you here so our meter will be showing us so now we are measuring the direct current that is the DC as you can see it here on the meter already it is showing you here that it is in DC so we are going to measure it and see so I'll put this one on positive one will go on positive then this one I'll put on negative so as you can see it is it is 3.67 so you can see it is within the range so it has some current so you can see it is also reading for us so that's how we measure guys thank you for watching so today we are trying to do the unboxing of this multimeter digital multimeter uh, it's a great tool it helps us a lot in phone repair and uh, other electric components if you you want to check uh, diodes resistors and other stuff 
you have to use this tool so these are some of the uh, the brief summary about it if you have any question mm -hmm. kindly leave it in the comment section down below i'll be able to answer you and uh, we shall be able to talk about more and discuss about what you'll have us so this is how we do it always don't forget to subscribe to our channel like share 